Hello everybody, Scully here, and welcome back to Stray. Last time, we talked we talked to Momo, and we found our lead. It's that building right over there. And this time we are going to, very conveniently, uh, make our way over there. You can see what's, see what's going on. So first of all, oh, another music chair. Uh, first of all, Momo is, or was determined about getting the uh, genie to the surface, but now he's just kind of gave up on his dream. Just do normal cat things, just knock stuff over, and when I knock stuff over, I break stuff. So. Looks like a, a heat dryer. And it's on. That's, that's not really safe. Lamentine's notebook. An outsider notebook. It's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Ev everything, everything was going according to plan. We talked. We managed to contact the upper level where the transceiver went down. They were. They were in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. We talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come down with us. He will not come with us. Let's, let's find the other notebooks. Uh. Let's just make sure that I'm not going to miss any random memories that I just put in here. Um, oh, it's like more sheet music. But it seems like these places you can come back to. So. Uh, yeah, I was going to do it. Um, well, there's that loader up there. I think maybe she will get the bat next. What's that sound at, at, at the door? Eh, it's probably nothing. Come on, dude. In your DNA, you should know what a cat scratching at your door should sound like. an amateur. Well, that was like a quick way down, which I'm not going to take because I don't want to go down right now. Um, yeah, let's say there's one up there. There's another. And there's another. Uh, right over here. Actually, we'll go over to this one first. Since it looks like. Since it does look like it's easier to get to. Mm -hmm. 
music is great. Oh. So that's what killed him. How do you develop your artificial intelligence in order to become as creative as a real human? Volume 42. Nothing really special happens. These piles of books just fall down. Uh, I think there should be a notebook down here somewhere. Aha, uh -huh, I think I found a lead. October 11th. Okay. Uh, hey, Doc. We found the keys to your safe. You you need to be more careful with this. It's not... It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Just the library. Bunch of books, you say? Um, that is... No, not that there. That is a... I need to jump up here. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you can sweep me. It looks like you can just sleep in here. So it looks like this safe when we find it. We probably have the notebook in it. We're not gonna piece together what we have to do here. Nice work! Another notebook! This one seems to... This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've done buying a spec spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be able to... We should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The, an, the initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real condition. Let's let's find the other note. What's that up there? I don't think we'll be able to see that. Is that all, all that? Is that all that we have to do here, or is there something else that we need to grab? Uh, I think this one's gonna come back to you, but I don't think it's very important until, or unless, besides the uh, notebook. Here. Now, time to go to that final. Sign of No, this is actually a fairly easy game. I know I could be very easily eating my words here, but this is 
Mm, seems to be pretty straightforward with uh, whatever. Or with the yeah, gameplay. It's just, hey, it's, it's pretty obvious where you have to go. Can we go back here? No, that, well, that's just way up to go to the sea. I think that's where that granny's uh, place is right now. We're right down there. No, oh, just, just can't, just can't even. Uh, That power supply. Very, very convenient. Let's drop that right there. That might, that might be important later, but I'm not sure. Looks like a mess. Ah, nailed it. Uh, what am I doing in here? Uh, down there. I guess. No. That really just not it. Well, I guess I actually had to try and look for the uh, uh, thing. Hey, there's that police car. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> what that year was in one of those notebooks there. Finally, the last notebook. Seems like this one, this one, someone named Zel Zelta the Bulb. The Baltzes are. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost any, anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the, in the city was a hard enough. Oh, there's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I've figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. 
If we can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show them what we found. Oh, how did I get out? Oh, wait, yeah. I go out through. I go out through this window. So I'm. I'm gonna make a guess. Guess here, but I think that it doesn't matter which one the last one is. It just. It just uh says. Uh, this is like the equation or something. I could, I could be wrong here. And, uh, I'm most likely am. Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those note, for those useless notebooks? That's my notebook. It. I was the last to join the Outsiders, and also the last remaining. Oh, you found Clementine's notes. She was really brave, you know, the most fearless person I have ever met. Oh, it belonged to Doc. He was a, he was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Wait, you actually found all my friends' notebooks? Oh. What's that? What's that note? The, the transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible! This means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. When the tiny belt name not found. Doc, I'm sorry, I doubted your I, I doubted our cause. I promise you I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. This might be able we might be able to find your way up. Now, let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Voila! It works. Come with me. Come, come with me if you want to do. You don't. You don't follow the limit. It just gives you an instant game over. See there, that building, high above the others. If you install the transceiver in the very top of that tower, you should be able to. Communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. I will. Okay, we okay. We have time. Oh. Um. All right. Let's go. Put the transceiver all the way at the top of that big building. Which big building? That one? Or... Whoops. Yeah. It just takes this bucket down over here. Rooftop. 
It's right there, the berserks down over there. But to be honest, they look like headstones from half life. From half life 2. Um. I'm I'm hoping they're not going to do some dumb move where they're gonna put uh where they're going to put collectibles over there. So just trying to continue on. Um looks like I can get up by jumping from that. Oh get up. Okay. No, I will I will. I will. Just making sure they weren't going up the ladder. All these visuals here, this game are just amazing. And the same with the music. Looks like there's another memory. The city was full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be a strict and there used to be strict and energy caps. Especially in the slums. But people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon sign, all over their house. The person was taken away and never seen again. The people saw, and people saw hope. Not long after, everyone started pulling, lot, putting lots of lights in their house, homes. There was nothing the oppressor could do. It was a way for the outsider, or it was a way for the people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. We're getting closer. Okay, I don't get out first anymore. But, anyways, uh. Where are we supposed to go here? Oh, that is absolutely terrifying. Um, ah, that is clever. That is clever. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can make it go back both ways. Oh, that's clever. Clever game designers. I have to say. Um, um, can I jump up here? No. That feels bad. Oh, this is scary. Okay. Garbage here. As it clicks, as it clicks through the bar. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna jump up. I know that's. Is that? Okay, no, that's not bad for me. Um, oh, 
all this stuff. Zerk stare. And all this. Um... Ha! Bitch, you can't get me from here. Bitch. Um. Yeah, of course. Too bad. Too bad there wasn't some way that you could trap him. Uh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Damn it. Whoa. Well, well, that's dark. Uh, I will uh, be right back. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I'm I'm just trying to move this. Uh, I'm just getting back to move this a little bit. Oh, that, that's fun. Over here, I really admire the view and all that the Zerks did. Um, This trash came out of here. Yeah. I just did that. Oh, that was scary. Uh, God, this music is really off-setting, <laughs> off-putting, I should say. Um, looks like there's something I can jump on over there. Well, we saw how well that looked last time. Um, uh, 
Um, so now I'm going over there. Oh, 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 God. <laughs> oh, that is, that is, that is scary. I will say that is scary. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna say, is... Yeah, did I... Did I just run for it? Did I run for it, or is that a bad idea? What? I'm going to run for it. Oh, you... You... Now the thing is, are they all over here? Close it. Oh, oh, we almost had it. Oh, 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 Yeah, that is the tower that he's talking about. Um, that sucks. Um, maybe. Just, just imagine that power supply to that fan, a royal bath. I just need that to complete this. Or there could be a very conveniently placed lever. Oh, son of a bitch!
Should you go any slower? No, 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 get out of here. Get out of here. All the head crabs are just like. Or, or in this universe, they're called some. Zarks. Zarks. Not some. <laughs> Where the hell did I get some from? Jesus. Ah, uh, how convenient. The door won't open. Um. Here. Let's put the transceiver on this antenna. Can we get, like... Tell teleported back to Momo, please. Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. I remember now. The city. It wasn't meant to be a shelter. Look, look at look at the stars. They're only light lights marking the Vertic roof, you'll sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside. But it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. Nobody ever goes in. Nobody ever comes out. Points to the person who gets that reference. The outside, the outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you came from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside. It was to the open city. I don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and, and find Momo. That's where we've connected. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. But, we'll do that next time. So, next time we will go and visit Momo. And, well, then after, we will probably find more memories. Knock more paint cans off of buildings. And, yeah. I will see you guys next time.
look at that. 